I was pulling a calf and uh, it was just me and a vet there and it turned out to be quite difficult in the end and the cow went down on the ground and as I was pulling it I felt a little pop in my shoulder. Didn't notice anything straight away afterwards but uh, about two months later I started going to the gym with one of my friends and it was when I was doing exercises that he noticed that my shoulder on this side was dipping down a lot more. Um, and then I suppose since I started going to the gym, it might have aggravated a bit more. Um, so I've noticed it on the farm now when I'm doing different things. Say if I'm opening the handle for a gap, I'd notice it sometimes a bit of a pull on my shoulder. Sounds like you might have had a, a small bit of an episode there. The ball and socket joint of the shoulder is often likened to a golf ball on a tee, like it's quite a shallow joint. And you can get quite a, a big force or attraction force through it. You can get what's called a subluxation where it just kind of comes out slightly and pops back in. I suppose best bit of advice I give you next possibly be to organise a scan to see is there any extent of damage in the shoulder joint itself. Um, quite often times you can have secondary issues off the back of an incident like that where you can get rotator cuff pain which would often be exacerbated through different exercises particularly overhead pressing and benching and that sort of thing. So that can often be fixed just through some rehabilitation of smaller muscles in around the shoulder. We organise an MRI would probably be yeah best protocol there for you like really. Yeah. As a young farmer like yourself, trying to get back into the gym, what was your main motivation or what was, I suppose, the thing that drove you to do that? Just general fitness, really. I actually did a health and safety course online for part of the farming, and they talked a lot about that, in that about um, just basically how farmers don't look after themselves. And I suppose that kind of spurred me on to look after myself a yeah. bit more. So only there lately I um, started back running just on the roads around here and stuff. Yeah, I just noticed kind of little things that would be niggling me on the farm throughout the day kind of would be exacerbated more while I'm running. So a bit of lower back pain, um, shin splints and that kind of thing. I suppose quite often times when so people go from not running in a while to get back running, it's often go from kind of a bust to boom cycle. Yeah. Where the ramp up in volume and intensity is, is too high based on the previous training in the last couple of months. So oftentimes just be recommended to go at a lower volume, lower intensity initially and start to slowly but surely build that up over a period of time. We'd often say start low and build slow and aim to build it up over a course of a couple of weeks. Okay.